Greetings, one and all two universes! In this show, we will analyze the stats, weapons, and abilities of two fighters to find out who would win in a battle to the death. Many people have predicted the outcome, so let's see who guessed right and who guessed wrong. And be sure to stay tuned after the episode so you can see the next fighters and make your predictions down in the comment section below or with a video response. And who knows, your comment or video response could be featured in the very next episode. With all that said, let's meet our two fighters. Paul Phoenix, the top fighter in the universe, and Guile, the super American street fighter, skyscraper or flat top, their hair could be characters of their own. But which blonde bruiser from the land of the free will come out on top with a killer KO? Let's find out. This is Universes. Paul Phoenix was no doubt one of the greatest martial artists in the world, rivaled only by a mysterious fighter known as Kazuya Mishima. However, one day this rival disappeared and Paul just kept fighting, until eventually he got to the point where he was able to defeat a mysterious beast known as Ogre. With all of his fame, titles, and accomplishments, Paul was feeling on top of the world, until he realized he didn't actually defeat Ogre. You see, Paul beat the first form, but left before he transformed into his true and final form, which was defeated by Jin Kazama. This made Jin the real winner of the tournament that Paul was competing in, and as you can imagine, Paul was not happy. He'd go on public rants and raves about how it's not fair and how he's the real winner, and people got sick of him and abandoned him. This left Paul in a deep depression, but with his insane fighting spirit, he was able to break out of it and start working his way back up to the top to regain his former glory. As mentioned before, Paul is an incredible martial artist. He uses his own super advanced variation of a martial art known as Judo. Paul isn't much of a combo fighter though, yeah he has a few good chains but he mostly relies on hard heavy hits and reversals by countering his opponents. He'll twist limbs, push you several feet away, or just flat out launch you in the air with his feet. One of Paul's best moves though is the Burning Fist. It's basically just a straight up falcon punch. He reels back and lunges forward with a powerful blow that knocks you several feet away. And all these moves get stronger with rage. Once Paul nears the point of death, he will enter a state called rage mode which increases his strength. Now he needs to use this strategically as he can either keep the damage boost or sacrifice it to use a super move. With this move, he slams his foe on the ground so hard that they bounce right back up, making them vulnerable to a burning fist combo. But Paul can still access this damage boost without rage mode though by charging his key. This key charge doesn't last long, but he can just use it again whenever he wants to, as many times as he wants, and it gives him a 1.5 times increase in power. I mean, if you look at his head, I guess you could assume he's following the Dragon Ball rule of more hair equals more power, am I right? It's not like he didn't have enough power to begin with, though. Paul can easily punch through brick walls and smash gigantic boulders like nobody's business. He can even knock back and damage Brian Fury, someone who didn't even flinch when taking shots from a tank or a head-on helicopter explosion that covered an entire city block. In fact, Paul trading blows with Brian resulted in a massive shockwave that destroyed the environment around them. Now, if you remember, Paul also defeated Ogre's first form, but Ogre's first form doesn't exactly have any impressive feats. However, in order to even make it to Ogre in the first place, Paul would have had to have beaten Heihachi, someone who's fast enough to catch bullets with his teeth, kick missiles, tough enough to survive a mountain exploding, and a beating from Street Fighter Zakuma. Don't get this confused with the key unleashed Heihachi that took on Devil Kazuya. There's no way Paul could take on Heihachi at that point. Either way though, Paul is still one of the top fighters in the universe. Guile was a trainee in the United States Air Force, being taught by his superior officer Charlie Nash, who taught him how to use a special fighting style. 
Guile's hot temper made this fighting style hard to learn, but he was still good enough to put it to use, and the time to put it to use eventually came when Charlie Nash disappeared when on a secret investigation. Guile teams up with Chun-Li to sneak into the Shadaloo base in order to find his friend, but after being caught by M. Bison, Charlie sacrifices himself by holding Bison off while Chun-Li and Guile escape, the base exploding behind them with Charlie still inside. However, Bison somehow survived the explosion and left Guile filled with rage, desiring revenge for the loss of his friend. He dedicated his life to training so he could enact revenge, even getting to the point where he left his own family. But he's going to need a fancy arsenal if he's going to serve this cold dish the best he possibly can. Guile has plenty of military fighting experience and can get pretty flashy with his fighting style. He has throws, powerful blows, and projectiles in the form of a sonic boom attack. The sonic boom is a crescent-shaped energy attack that travels horizontally, and the sonic blade remains stationary for any fools that are dumb enough to run into it. Then there's the sonic cross, a two-hit combination of the previously named attacks, and the sonic break which lets him fire an insane barrage of sonic boom attacks. It's nearly unavoidable. All these moves get even better when Guile taps into his V-Gauge. He can increase the power of an attack, the speed, how many times an attack will hit, but he only gets three shots with the V-Gauge though before he has to rebuild it by either giving or receiving damage. Guile can even use multiple super moves. He has the Flash Explosion which is a powerful series of flips and kicks, the Sonic Hurricane which is a gigantic sonic boom attack that hits multiple times, and the Sonic Tempest, an even stronger version of the Sonic Hurricane. All of these insane moves have helped Guile accomplish a ton of neat feats. <laughs> that rhymes. Neat. Feet. <laughs> Anyways, for starters, Guile is much stronger than someone like Balrog who can kill an elephant, he's also taken blows from Jury who can destroy entire buildings, and he's superior to Chun-Li who can create an insane crater like this with her Kikosho. He was able to launch Blanca with a flash kick and defeated a large group of 12s. He could also survive attacks from M. Bison, cuts from Vega, and hits from Ryu. He was even able to block blows from Sakura when she was under the influence of the Satsui no Hado. Guile was also fast enough to avoid a surprise attack from Alex and then defeat him, as well as Birdie, and considering he's able to keep track of M. Bison, he should be on par with the rest of the Street Fighter cast in terms of speed at hypersonic levels. Guile is certainly an impressive soldier, but for crying out loud, man, do something with that haircut. Guile and Paul should just have a bad haircut contest instead of a versus battle. But speaking of the versus battle, it's time to find out who will win. Let's take a look at your predictions while I calculate the results. It's not time for a toast just yet, old friend. The day will come when our mission is complete. Hey guys, this is Mighty here and I'm doing a quick Universes prediction. I think this is the first time I'm doing a Universes prediction video, but this one is called Guile from Street Fighter vs. Paul Phoenix. Now, let's just say that I don't know who is stronger. I think Paul is stronger because, uh, yeah, I mean, Paul fought Ogre and he defeated Ogre, who is basically what was dealt a lot more powerful, was a lot more powerful than Bison is. And yeah, Gal is kind of a st stronger than Bog, who can one-shot elephants who weigh about 10 to 15,000 pounds. But I believe Ogres can deal much more power. Have power then an elephant can, and Paul might as well scale up to Ogre. Now, now Paul also was face to face with a savage bear. I mean, sure, Gal has has fought on par of fighters like Chun Li and and Jury, but Paul, like I said, he fought a very powerful being called Ogre. He defeated Ogre. Sure, Gal did defeat Bison, but he couldn't kill him because, as it just wouldn't work out for him. I mean, just because. Bison defeated Charlie, who killed Charlie, doesn't mean Guile could kill Bison because it just wouldn't make any sense for him to just kill Bison in revenge. So all so at least he could do is just beat him. Meanwhile, Paul defeated Ogre. And that's not all. I believe Paul might be faster. Sure, Guile could keep up we're sure Gal could be as fast as you who can dodge bullets, but I believe Paul could be much, much faster. Also because as of durability, I think Paul will have a durability advantage. I don't think Gal doesn't have much durability compared to Paul Phoenix. So I believe Paul Phoenix would have a durability category. I think Paul's stronger, and I think Paul's more faster. Urban Gal. And plus, I believe experience. Like I said, sure, Gal's a trained, but when it comes to fighting experience, Paul has followed a bear. You know, Kuma. So 
So all in all, I'm gonna, and you can go, sure, Gal has Sonic Boom. And Paul has a powerful Burning Fist. Now sure, but Sonic Boom has more, has more long range because it's a projectile. And he, and he technically has only the Sonic Boom and Flash Kicks. He can also do Sonic Hurricane and Sonic Tempest, even the Dual Flash. So I believe Gal would might as well have the edge in weapons. Well, Gal might have a weapon, a weapons advantage. Solely based off of of his projectile attacks and perfect but also long range. But Paul, well, that's pretty much about it. Sure, Gal might be could be smarter than Paul. Gal could have more arsenal than Paul, but I believe that Paul is stronger, faster, and more durable than Gal. So my prediction for universes is that Paul Phoenix is going to win. And this is coming from a guy who prefers Street Fighter. And yeah, this is based on my own knowledge. Yeah, his strength is... He's basically... Could be a stronger than Ogre, who I believe is more stronger than Balrog. And I believe Ogre is more powerful than Bison. Paul is also like I said he's more durable and he's more faster so yeah that's and no it's not because Leopold is biased towards Tekken that could be how I assume Paul would win not to mention the DBX between Paul and Guile where Paul won but I believe that Paul is a much better fighter than Guile is so Paul like I said he's stronger faster more durable and more experienced than Gal, who is only smarter and has a more unique arsenal in projectiles. Paul doesn't technically have any projectiles, so yeah, that's my universe prediction. Paul is going to win. Now comment down on the video of who you think is going to win. This is my something mighty setting out. Hey, Corn O'Keefe here, everybody. As the title implies, bringing you another universe's prediction. We got Paul from Tekken versus Guile from Street Fighter. Now I'm a big fan of both. I grew up playing Tekken. And in the past year and a half, I've gotten into Street Fighter. I own, I own Street Fighter V. It's a great game. But ultimately, guys, i got to go with Paul. I do feel like the Street Fighter verse is formidable for what they are. They're badass in their own right, yeah. Um, but ultimately, the Tekken verse is actually more dominant. They do more or less outclass the Street Fighter verse in most categories. And for what my understanding is, to my understanding, a lot of Tekken characters kind of do scale to around continent level. And they're not that slow either, and they're all very good fighters. Now, Guile was in the U.S. Air Force before his street fighting days. You know, he has um, training, you could say, and he's a, street, he's a fighter from a game called Street Fighter. But I feel like at his best, he might be around building level. At his best. Possibly building level, yeah. He has pretty decent reaction speed. He's, you know, a good fighter. But ultimately, I feel like the Tekken verse actually does more or less outclass most of the Street Fighter verse. And in this certain situation, I feel like Paul is going to take the win, folks. As always, let me know what you think down below. Are you going with Paul? or Guile from Street Fighter because I'm going with Paul all the way from Tekken. As always, have a great one. Peace. And the results are in. The winner is... Paul Phoenix. Sheesh. Guile had a lot less than I thought he would. It's mostly just scaling, but I tried to make it work. Oh well, let's get into these results. Let's start off with the small reasons why Paul wins first, and then work up to the big factors. It'll be more fun that way. While Guile does have the range advantage with his sonic boom attack, Paul's skill and arsenal are much larger, and he'd be able to quickly think up a strategy around the sonic boom shortly after seeing the attack. Paul's moveset is also just much larger, while most of Guile's movesets are souped up variations of the same moves. Not only that, but he can only use these souped up variations a limited amount of times. Then there's the fact that he has to slowly charge up these moves by giving or receiving damage. Meanwhile, Paul can charge up his key whenever he wants to as many times as he wants to for a damage boost, and when he enters rage mode, it lasts forever until he uses his finishing move, no matter how many attacks he does prior. And finally, Paul's key charge and rage mode gives a damage boost 
to all of his moves aside from the throws. Meanwhile, Guile's souped up states only power up a few specific moves. It's highly unlikely Paul would even need the damage boost from his Key Charger Rage Mode anyways considering his already large strength advantage. Guile can take on foes who can destroy buildings and create gigantic craters in the ground. Pretty impressive. But Paul can take on foes who didn't even flinch from tank shots or a helicopter explosion that covered an entire city block. Not to mention, he even defeated Heihachi Mishima in combat to get to Ogre. Heihachi Mishima is tough enough to survive a mountain exploding and can even take attacks from Tekken's Akuma, which is already stronger than Street Fighter's version of Akuma. Ha! <laughs> that should be enough to convince you right there. I could have said it from the start. Paul is strong enough to beat someone who can trade blows with a stronger version of a character Guile can't even compete against in the first place. This should obviously apply to the speed aspect as well. Guile may be smarter and have more experience with his military training, but Paul's much larger arsenal, lead in stats, and way more impressive damage boosters help him remain the top fighter in the universe. The winner is... Paul Phoenix. Get ready for the next battle. Oh, another angel. Must have missed one. Chaos Control!